This is an excavation of the Israel Antiquities Authority done for the Israel Lands Authority as part of a huge project for the development of a new neighborhood for the city of Javne. I'm sitting at the moment in the midst of a large wine press on the treading floor. This is just one of five large wine presses at this site. And this gives an idea of the large quantity of wine that was produced here. We're talking about two million liters annually from this one site. And this particular kind of wine is what we know as Gaza wine. And Gaza wine was a trademark wine that was from the whole of this area of the southern part of the coastal plain. We have to realize that this was a prestige wine. It was a light white wine and it was taken to many, many countries around the Mediterranean. We're talking Egypt, we're talking Turkey, we're talking Greece, maybe to southern Italy as well. So this was a wine that was widely distributed around the Mediterranean. In the excavation here in Yavne, the main find are jars. And this jar is the most typical jar that we found at the site, a jar which is known as a Gaza jar or an Ashkelon jar, which are very, very similar. The shape which you could even sort of compare with a cola bottle today was something which was completely known to anybody who saw them. And these were typical jars which were used for wine that came from the area of the southern coastal plain in Israel. And of course, we have many other finds. These jars over here are called Palestinian baggy jars, and they are the main kind of jars which were found all over the area of Israel right through the Byzantine period. We have these oil lamps which are dated to the same period as these jars. And we have also oil lamps which come from a later period, from the early Islamic period. These are jols, children's toys, which were found also at the site. In ancient times, wine had a great importance, not only as an export product, but for many other purposes. For example, first of all, people enjoyed drinking wine. But beyond that, this was a major source of nutrition. And this was a safe drink because the water was often contaminated so they could drink wine safely and then they could also uh, of course take it in as part of their daily diet. Excavation it goes well beyond the usual scale of excavations that the Antiquities Authority conducts. A continuous excavation of two years, two to three hundred workers daily, huge site, a huge area of excavation. That will be the challenge of the excavators here is to work through all the material and to bring it to publication at the end.